Welcome to my crafting guide. I'm going through all of the essences and then we're going deeper into the crafting. First essence here is the magic upgrade essence. It is basically only used for one thing, which is putting one, two or three different slots on your item that can roll stats. So you're just clicking that until you hit free stats. Now we have free stats here. That's great. And now you're coming to the magic birth essence. Rerolls randomly all of the free blue stats on the item. So if we click that, we can see we get one, two or three random stats on it. And we can do that as long as we have this essence until we have one or two good stats here. Then if we say, okay, we like these two stats, that's a tier 10 strength and some damage against debuffed enemies. And we say like, we want to see what the third stat will be. We're clicking that. And then if we like what we get, we can go on. Or if we don't like that, we can go back to spamming these here. And then once you have your three stats that you like, let's say we like these, we come all the way over here to the rare upgrade essence. That's the fourth essence we're looking at today. This basically upgrades your item to a rare item. Once the item is rare, it can have up to six stats. So this essence randomly adds one to three different stats on our blue item. That's why we want to have three stats on the blue item already. So we can make it to four, five or six stat items. Okay, let's say we hit bad stats here now. So we don't like it, we delete everything and start from scratch. The random upgrade essence here has a kind of niche use. It can just randomly give us one to six slots on the item. As long as the item is one to three slots big, it is still blue. As it goes to four stats, it becomes yellow. Okay, now something happened. We got fire penetration. That's a rare stat. We really like that. So we can use this here, the magic expansion essence that basically unlocks a second slot, but it doesn't reroll this part here. It keeps the existing stat and adds another slot here. So we can see, oh, nice. We got some speed. That's really great. So we like these two stats. They go good together. They're both good damage. So we're going to press it again. And now we sadly got a bad stat, but we still like the item. It has two good stats that can be decent for early mapping. So if we hit a third stat on the yellow essence here, okay. And we get some spell damage, get some fire pen, some spell damage, some speed, some cold resist. That's a good item already for early, early mapping. We're happy with that, but uh, this gear stat requirement here, that's really annoying us. We don't really like seeing that here. So uh, basically our only option for hitting a fifth stat here is the rare expansion essence, but that's super expensive. We, we don't have many of these. They are rare to get. That would be adding a sixth slot and with that another random stat. But as I said, it's really expensive. We have to actually keep that for items that are worth a lot. Since these are tier four stats and the tier six stats, it's not that great yet. So I don't really want to use that. Basically my only option left now is the disintegration essence that removes one random stat. So I actually only have the chance of one out of five, 20% chance to remove this stat here. I'm also okay if this stat here gets removed. So. 40% chance I'm gonna take it and the good resist is gone. That sucks, but the free damage things are still here. So I'm going to try again. And my main thing is gone. So the item is bricked. That's actually sad. Now I have to go back to, to scratch to start again. If I remove the correct stat, I can come here and use the rare imbue essence. That is turning one of the question marks into a random stat. And if we remove the bad stat and hit the good stat, then we're golden and the item is done and we can use that. And that way is the early way of crafting good items for four or five good stats. 
don't try to hit six good stats it's barely possible with this kind of currency you need to be insanely lucky other than that if you don't want to start with blue stats i highly recommend you start with blue stats but if you're lazy and you don't want it or if you're just trying for good luck you can just take the rare birth essence here and spam these until you hit something good actually that's three good stats speed attack and spell damage chaos resist but these two are very low so i don't really like it and now we got crit and dot amplification i don't think that goes good together nothing for me at least so i basically can sit here and do that all day and just hoping to be lucky being lucky is actually overpowered so just be lucky guys and you you will be done with your item if you're not one of the lucky types you can also use the alchemy table for crafting this essence here which allows us to choose one of the stats that we want so for example i say i want fire damage i can choose that and target craft that on the item if we look at this here we can see the percentages fire damage one percent so i need to roll 100 times with these if i want to hit fire damage 10 of these can turn into one of these and here i get it guaranteed so instead of paying 100 of these i only pay 10 so i can use this now i actually now i actually want to try this so let's go with fire damage that's my number one stat that i want on every single scepter that i craft so i'm rolling fire damage and we can see here lightning resist that's good speed that's good fire damage obviously what i wanted so i have three good stats i come here and boom upgrade only got one stat and that's bad these here are too valuable so i'm going back to zero and starting again if while doing this here i actually hit one of the stats i want i can also use these here to add more stats this is horrible so i don't like it chaos resist is good hp on kill not that great spell damage is too low i got three stats so i'm going back to this here doing the fire damage now terrible roll no good other mods speed and fire damage that's good let's open the third damage against enemies affected by dot fireball actually burns the enemy that's a dot so that's actually great and let's see if we get lucky totem to ration gear stat oh that's horrible let's try to remove one of the bad stats we actually did and now we can enchant that hp on kill that's bad gone we can do that again but now we removed one of the good stats so for me the item is brick now since i really want a strong weapon here the fire overall wasn't that great either so i'm gonna start again double fire damage hit rate i'm not convinced the rolls were too low still too low rune knight damage that's not going good with my thingy here fire damage and attack on spell damage open the third one abyssling damage oh that's horrible let's see what else we get Ooh, ooh, dot amplification and speed that's good so we want to remove the abyssling damage but now we know this is only a 20 percent chance and let's say this is tier 10 this is tier 10 this is tier 10 this is horrible and we want the absolutely best item we can ever get we would be using this for the sixth stat of course and that also hits tier 10 oh that's crazy but now how can we get rid of the abyssling damage so this is a one in six chance but if we come here we can see there's something called remove suffix remove prefix what the heck what the heck is a prefix for that we can click here and we can actually scroll here and see oh this is all prefixes okay so let's see a bisling is that in the list yes that's a prefix so 
if we remove one prefix we actually have the chance one in three and then when we remove that which we didn't but if we remove that we can come back to this item here and add another random stat and hopefully hit something that's good other than that if it's a suffix it's the same thing here with these yeah besides that we have left out three essences i believe which is the magic change essence the random upgrade essence and the rare change essence so both of the change essences they don't reroll any stats on the item but they reroll the values of the stat for that we can click this here and then we can see oh abyssling damage that can actually go from 38 to 44 so 39 that's really bad i don't like that i want 44 on that so i can come to this rare change essence here for a rare item the rare version for the magic item the blue version and then i click that and it actually changes within these values here and 42 that's better now I can do that a few times until I hit 44 if that's my number one stat that I want to have up or I can go for a general roll that has good speed good fire damage good abyssling damage which I actually got here speed is directly in the middle fire damage is top end abyssling damage is also on the top side of things dot damage is on the top half at least so I got kind of good value so I'm going to keep it this here should always be the last step though Make sure you don't accidentally click something else though, so you don't ruin your item. Yeah, and the red essences, we don't really need to go too much into detail here. They are really rare. This item here basically, it reforges the item. But if you have six stats that are good on it, tier 1 spell damage, tier 1 speed, tier 1 fire damage, tier 1 poison resist, tier 1 fire penetration, and tier 1 chaos resist and you know your item is actually having six good stats but all of them are terrible you can use this here and it rerolls the different levels of all of the stats so all of your tier one stats here can become tier 10 stats and then you actually have a good item that's such a niche you will probably never never really have a case like that happening if you're not crafting like a shit ton and then this Alyssa Essence here that re imbues the options of a rare item by chance and if you're lucky it imbues with high tier. So this is basically the same as this but it has a high chance of giving you high levels on the stats. So it's completely random what you get. You need to be lucky and hit at least four good stats and then there's a high chance of them being a high level so probably you're gonna be lucky if you hit three or four or five good stats. But the chance of that is also slim. Other than that, these here add enchantments to your gear. That will be definitely one of the ways for making the best items, but I think it can also break your item's worth by a lot since if you get the wrong enchant on the item, it is basically not going to be the top tier item anymore. So that's also like maybe a one in five, one in six chance on every item that you hit the correct enchantment. Like fire pen on the on the gloves so you would use the fire god and then put it on the gloves and you need to be lucky to hit the fire penetration and not something like garbage like health regeneration or something this here with the quality birth essence you can upgrade your gear it is only used on non-enchanted gear though and it just gives some more base stats so either the weapon damage or the armor or the barrier or the dodge chance get increased so you can roll that in the first step this can only be used on white items, so make sure to include that in the first set. Otherwise, you're losing the opportunity to do so later on. And now I'm showing you guys how I crafted my armor. My alchemy table was busy, so I actually had to use the birth essences, which was a little bit annoying, but after some rolls, I hit a decent tier 10 health stat, and then I just kept upgrading rare. Boom, I got super lucky on that actually insanely lucky hitting the second tier 10 life and extra stat on that and as you can see it went glorious if you enjoyed this video you can find even more content on my channel 